Hello and welcome to the section Managing Virtual Machines with Azure PowerShell. In this section we're going to cover the virtual machines. I'm going to give you an overview of them and then talk about the VM commandlets that we use to manage them. Then we're going to create a virtual machine, both the easy way and the complete way. Then we're going to discover what virtual machines you have and their settings by looking at the get VM commandlets. I'll show you how to resize VMs, work with virtual machine extensions, and then manage some VM operations. Hello and welcome to the video Virtual Machine Overview and Intro to VM Commandlets. In this video, we're going to cover the virtual machine basics, so you'll know what I mean when I'm talking about image and size and the related resources that go with the VM. And then we're going to highlight the commandlets that I'll be using to create VMs and work with them and manage them. Let's give a little bit more room here. The commandlets that we use in Azure RM that have VM in the name is about 126. Well, it's exactly 126. But rather than going into each and every command and see what we can and can't do, I think it's better if we start with an overview that shows you all of the things that you need to know about working with a VM. So let's take a look here. The image contains the operating system, the version, and the SKU, and and all together it makes up the image. A good example of this is the OS being Windows, but the version is coming from SQL Server, and the SKU would be a developer edition or a web edition or a standard edition. The size talks about the CPU and the RAM and the overall power of the virtual machine. The location, of course, is what data center that it's going to be located in. The resource group is a logical grouping of resources. It's great to keep an environment together in a resource group or an application together in a resource group. And a tag is a name value pair that gets assigned to a resource. Really is beneficial for finding things as far as something that's tagged for a certain use or a financial purpose. And finally, the status. The status of the VM is whether it's provisioned and then is it running. The resources that go into the virtual machine, of course, you compute resources. That's your virtual machine. And you also would like to look at storage and networks. So those are two resources that are independent. They have their own commandlets and they get added and attached to the virtual machine. So the virtual machine is a resource and it contains resources such as network cards, disks, public IP addresses, and disks can be both OS and data disks. And then the VM also has a lot of software configuration that, that can be used to describe it. The administrator username is there in the OS configuration, and there's also extensions which get added on as software components, things like desired state configuration and antivirus, and there are several other extensions that are available for your virtual machines. Now here are some of the commandlets that we're going to be using in this section of the course. We've got our Azure RM VM commandlets, including creating new, deleting, starting, and stopping. And I'll be introducing you to this one, upcoming video, the new Azure RM VM config. Azure RM VM image commandlets show those images like I mentioned before where it's broken up into SQL Server and additions and SKUs, who publishes the image. All of these things are referenced by different commandlets. They all kind of come together to give you one big picture of what those images are. The network interface and the data disk each provide their own commandlets for working with those resources. And we're going to learn a lot more about all of these commandlets in the next few videos.